Let's stack it. You like it? Thank you, mommy, for the gift. He really likes it. Baby's down for his first nap. My husband left for work, so this is what I'm currently doing, just trying to get my life together, get things set up so that when baby does wake up, things are a little bit more smooth. <laughs> ah, y'all, life is life and, and it's rough and all the things, but I'm still blessed, if that makes sense. Like, you know, I still have my health, my family is well, all the things I just feel like mentally, I'm just going through it. I'm just in the season right now where I would like to be back in the United States. Uh, I feel like it's just been hard. Living here in Ecuador has been hard for me. And that doesn't mean living here in Ecuador would be hard for you. It's just for me in this stage of my life being a new mom i'm feeling very isolated feeling lonely so i have friends i made a whole video about me making friends and all the things but people are busy people are not always available and when they are available things are fun and you know life is moving and but there are other variables in my life that make friendship more work as well yeah you know i think when you think about living life abroad as an expat you do have a more rosier picture of things and honestly you do feel like things should be easier and i know social media does play a role like i'm seeing other people's expat lives either here in ecuador or in other countries and i'm just like i'm not having those experiences and so a lot of comparison is happening too i'm just tired as well exhausted baby is sleeping through the night which is a win i'm very happy about that but it took a lot to get to this point of him sleeping through the night that's where i am i was gonna do some more things but yeah look got all your toys here. <sighs> to be clear my frustration is not with my baby or the fact that i have a baby i feel very blessed he brings me so much joy I think it's just frustration in general overall with life and I'm just tired. I'm tired. Yeah, I feel like I'm constantly nursing which also takes a lot of energy and as he is sleeping through the night and eating more solids, my milk supply has decreased sort of so i'm very stressed about that which then isn't good for my milk supply so i don't know <laughs> oh, i feel like this is a vlog of complaining all of a sudden i don't want to complain anymore i'm gonna put on some nice music for gideon and i and we are going to just chill much later in the day it is about two o'clock now and i am heading out like this with just looking barefaced and kind of tired but i wanted to get out of the house and yeah that's what we're gonna do so i'm taking baby to get some korean food slash i'm going to get some korean food at one of my favorite restaurants or honestly the only restaurant i know here that serves korean foods so we're gonna go get some and I'm excited, just excited to get out of the house. Figuring it out, which is good. Happy to be figuring it out. The roads are kind of bumpy. Sidewalks here are kind of weird. Not really great for strollers. We're making it work. 
I did not bring my big camera in, so I'm sorry if the audio is a little off. Nervous. I was nervous, one, to vlog out in public by myself, two, to come out in public by myself. I almost saw all of the traffic, the parking and everything, and decided to go home, but I'm glad I did it. He is doing well. He's got his little book in his hand, and he's content for now. And if things change, then I guess things change, but for now we're good. Yeah, look at these booties, by the way. My husband got them these for Christmas, and I love them. Keeps them nice and warm, and we've got a blanket too, since we are by a door, but it really feels good. It's a really, really nice day. Cutlery all ready to go, and I'm excited to eat. This is what uh, homesickness does to you. It just makes you order a lot of food. So I think this is beef or pork. That's fun. Wow. Mm. Worth the drive. Oh my gosh. Bum. That's good. A little noodle. Oh, and the server actually recognized me. So I came here with my husband. I think I told you guys this already. There's a whole video about it a year ago when I was pregnant with my son. Now my son is here and we're back. The food is that good. And I haven't had it in a year. Mmm, that's good. Nice cake. Has like a ham situation. Very savory, rich. It's very good. And I forgot I have this like soup with, I don't know what this is. Mmm, probably my favorite thing. I think I'm done. I ate a lot. My husband will be very happy for leftovers, but I can't eat anymore. And I think this one needs to be fed. So I think if we can, I'll probably do that at home. But he's a good sport. Just bouncing him on my leg. But he's about to go crazy, so I need to pay <laughs> and drive home in all of this traffic. Yeah. Anyways. That is it for today's video. I don't think I have anything else to share besides this experience. It was great. He's growling at me now. So I'm gonna bid you farewell and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.